Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be dividing a big number. We're going to be dividing a whole number by a double digit divisor, a double digit number. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Don't worry. We're going to take it step by step. First of all, let's take a look at this problem right here. We have 580 divided by 10. So I'm just going to take this very slow and I'm just going to look at just this number. Can I put 10 into five? Can't do it, can you? So let's move this over. Can I put 10 into 58? Yes, you can. How many times? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, five times. So I'm going to just go ahead, go ahead and put the five right here, right above the eight. Make sure you put it right above the eight. So then five times 10 equals 50, just like that. And then I'm going to subtract just like we do the normal division. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract and eight minus zero is eight. So just bring that eight right down here. And then five and five is zero. So then you bring the next number down. You bring it down <laughs> just like that. You can do a little beatboxing if you want to. We're always trying to have fun on this show. How many times can I put 10 into eight? Eight times. So I put eight right here. Eight times 10 equals 80 with zero remainder. Don't put remainder zero. Don't have to do it. Just going to put 58. That's our answer. Ready to go to another one? All right, welcome back. Here we have another big number, 8,025 divided by 25. Okay, when we take a look at a problem like this, don't get scared, all right? Take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. How many times can I put 25 in the eight? Can't do it. So then I move to the next number. Just ignore the 25. So how many times can I put 25 into 80? So if you don't already know that, you can always do a little figuring on the side. So 25 times two would be 50. 25 times three would be 75. And 25 times four, that would be 100. It looks like 25 times three would be my best choice. 25 times four is 100, too big, too big. So we're gonna put three right here, right above the zero because I'm dealing with the 80. So three times 25 would be 75. And then I subtract, all right, so that would be five. And then bring that next number down, bring it down, bring it down, right over here. So now we start the whole process over. How many times can I put 25 into 52? Right there, two, dose, two times. I'm gonna put a two right here, a two, you tell two. Two times 25 would be 50, subtract. I have the two, bring that next number down. Just bring it down. You got it, we're just doing division all over again. How many times does 25 go into 25? One. So I put a one right here, one times 25, subtract zero. Don't need to put that zero up there. That's the answer, 321. Ready to do one more? I got a challenge one for you, let's do it. All right, welcome back. Whoa, <laughs> that is a big number, isn't it? Don't worry. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this 46 because I need to be able to put 46 into this number right here. Off to the side, because I don't know my uh, multiplication numbers of 46, I'm gonna go over to the side here and just write a couple problems out. So 46 times two, six times two is 12. Four times two is eight and then nine right here. And then I'll do 46 times three, six times three, 18. Carry the one, four times three is 12, 13, 138. Let's do one more, just uh, 46 times four. So six times four, 24. Four times four, what is it? 16, 17, 18. All right. It's important to memorize your multiplication. If you haven't done it, start doing it right now. Okay, now 46. How many times can I put 46 into 87? The two is too big. All right, so I'm only gonna be able to put it in one time. So I'm gonna put one right here. Need to put that right above that number. One times 46 is 46. Subtract. Now don't worry. Don't worry about the answer right here. Seven minus six is one. Eight minus four is four. All right, don't worry that this is a big number here. Go to the next, next step, drop the next number down. Drop it down, drop it down. 
nine right there. Now, do I have anything that's close to that? No, <laughs> that's pretty big right there. I'm gonna take 46 right here and I'm gonna multiply it by nine. So nine times six would be 54, carry the five up here. Nine times four is 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I think that's close enough. I think we hit it right there. So I'm gonna put nine right over here. Nine times 46 would be 414. Subtract nine minus four, five. Bring that next number down. Bam, 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 bam. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Again, we start the whole process over. How many times can I put 46 into 54? Just one. Just one. I'm going to put a 1 right there. 1 times 46 is 46. Do a little subtraction. Need to borrow over here. And we have 8. That's our remainder. We don't have any more numbers to bring down. That's our remainder right there. Remainder 8. How'd you do? Hey, I'm going to have more division problems like this on this channel. And I also have another channel. Check that out. There should be a link up here somewhere. I also have an outdoor channel. That's a fun channel if you like uh, the outdoors, fishing, things like that. I could sure use some subscribers. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. And we'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.